So I think the party to really blame for this is the U.S. Federal Reserve, which for 20 years has been playing this game of playing God. Unfortunately, they've been doing it with a fat finger. And so they've been playing God for a financial system with a fat finger, which means they haven't done a great job of balancing inflation and unemployment. But that means they've had to have these jerk responses in one direction or another. What happens is when they raised interest rates pretty sharply in, in the last year and a half or two, what's happened is that that actually caused a lot of banks, including Silicon Valley Bank, to fail. Now, it's worth noting, though, Silicon Valley Bank is very different than most other banks. They took risks that they shouldn't have taken. They have a concentrated base of technology companies as their client base. And so the idea of extrapolating that to the rest of the banking system is a big overstatement. It was sort of a fear-mongering that was pushed by Silicon Valley venture capitalists over the weekend so that they could earn a special bailout. And that's exactly what they got, which is what I refer to as that crony capitalism. They bailed out a bunch of Silicon Valley tech startups that banked at Silicon Valley Bank taking way more risk than they ever should have. But our government came in and said, you know what, you can keep doing it anyway, because the government will backstop you if you're one of the favored darlings.